has one foot into the Champions League round of 16. This game belonged to Furman Lopez. With Frankie de Jong, Pedri and Gabi's side lane due to injury and suspension, Furman Lopez, the young talent who previously dismantled Courtois in the Dallas El Clasico in July, stepped up. This La Masia product, who had been loaned to Linares to refine his skills, once again validated Xavi Hernandez's faith in him. He'd already impressed against Sevilla nearly a month ago, and now the Huelva native wowed the Stadio Olympic de Montwich crowd with a football spectacle against Shakhtar, earning himself the undisputed title of the MVP. Shakhtar goalkeeper Iznik thwarted early efforts from Barcelona. Uh, the crossbar denied Furman his first goal, and it was Fran Torres on the rebound who got the goal. It was Gundogan who passed the ball, and Furman was in the right place at the right time. He always is. That's the strong part of his game. But soon after, the defining moment arrived when Furman finally received the ball from Ferran Torres and skillfully evaded Azarov with a sensational move. And he unleashed a powerful right-footed shot that struck the post before finding the net. One of those uh, Fede Valverde type screamers. And this guy's been doing it often. So Barca have their own long range scorer now. The goal gave Barcelona a 2-0 lead in the 36th minute. And Furman, who's living a dream at the age of 20, celebrated by making a heart gesture towards the cheering fans. So what appeared to be a relatively comfortable match for Barcelona before the El Clasico, it became a little bit of nerve-wracking because uh, Shakhtar, you know, they scored a goal with less than half an hour left and Barcelona had failed to secure that third goal. So it's just a one goal margin and you know, any single mishap or uh, misjudgment could have led to a 2-2 situation and that would have become tough. So. But the situation worsened when Jao Felix sustained an injury. And you know, the Barca injuries just aren't stopping. They're like just piling on every single game. Um, so uh, now this uh, injury of Jao Felix is casting a shadow over his immediate future. Despite these obstacles, Barcelona managed to secure a hard fought victory. Though it came with its share of anxiety and consequences. Um, but Xavi didn't hold back. He fielded a strong lineup with Inigo making a repeat appearance. Araujo returning to the starting lineup. Lamine Amal rejoining, albeit not at his peak form from previous games. But the spotlight, however, belonged to just Furman Lopez. And, um, you know, he was the main player today. So, uh, <clears throat> Barca pressed really, really well at the start of the game. And it continued. So eventually all these players started getting tired in the second half and that's when Schuchter started attacking. Um, but, you know, it was good energy. Uh, it's a team that appears to be coasting now. Uh, La Masia is standing up and historically that's been the case that whenever La Masia does well, Barcelona does well. So the initial phase of the game was evenly matched. Uh, Schachter, they tried to have possession, but you know, that's Barcelona's game. Uh, it was always gonna be tough for them. Um, they sought to create scoring opportunities through their goalkeeper's long distributions and combination play. However, they like, lacked that final touch. Barcelona didn't rush the ball with their circulation. They were diligent in regaining possession, particularly with Oriol Romeo pressing high and aggressively. One of Romeo's recoveries on the edge of the uh, Ukrainian penalty area led to a chance for Furman, who received the ball, eluded his marker, but failed to capitalize on a promising situation, allowing the goalkeeper to make a save with his foot. I think Furman, he should have had a hat trick today. But, you know, sometimes it's just tough luck. Um, every time Barcelona ventured in the penalty area, they posed a significant threat. Even if their ball movement was not razor sharp, as a result, the opportunities were primarily on Barcelona's side. The exchange between Cancelo and Furman again culminated in a shot on goal from the Portuguese with Resnick Parry and preventing Gundogan from capitalizing. Barcelona grapples with injuries to key players like Dejan, Lewandowski, Kunde, Rafinha, Pedri, Sergio Roberto, and now Jao Felix. 
The looming El Clasico on October 28th has become an even more significant challenge. Susan Kordekshin marked his European debut and he's come off his heroics in La Liga with a last gap goal against the Athletic Club.